In the previous video, we talked about a one-to-many relationship. And in this video, I'm going to show you another way to do a one-to-many relationship. But first, let's just simplify the request that we've got here. Um, actually, I also want to remove the input because we're not using this anymore. We might throw it back in later, but for now, we can get rid of all of this. So let's scroll down and have a look at our request. Let's start by removing all of this list. There we go, so we'll get rid of that. Save it, let's start up our server, yarn surf. And then when that's up and running, we'll have a look and see that it's all working still. There we go, refresh the page. Nice, and that's all still working. Okay, now in this video, we're going to still have lists, but I want to insert them separately. So we'll say list.insert, give it some data, and we actually want to set that to an array of lists. Okay, and we're going to keep it simple in this video. We'll just have an ID equal to something random, and then the title of the list. Is it a title or a name? There we go, it's a title. So let's set the title to shopping, and then maybe we'll have two more lists. One for favorite things. And this last one can be a to-do list. To-do, sweet. Okay, let's save that, refresh the page. And the reason we're not getting any list items here is because we don't have a user ID on our list items. So like we said in the previous video, uh, the user ID is 28. So if we set this to user ID 28, refresh the page, then that comes up. Okay, so that's cool. However, what about situations where the list doesn't have the user ID on it? Sometimes you have this situation where the server will give you within the user's data list IDs and then pass through the list IDs like this. So 62, let's make that 56, 92, just random numbers, 62, 56, 92, 62, 56, 92. Okay, so in that situation, we need to have a different sort of relationship. It's still a one-to-many or a many-to-one because the user has many lists. However, it's defined slightly differently than how we did it before because this time the user knows about the lists, whereas the list doesn't know about the user. So how are we going to do that? Well, the way this is done is with a has-many by relationship. And the has many by relationship pass through the list just like before, but this time the user is going to know about the list that it owns. So it's going to need a list IDs field. I'll set that to this dot attribute and let's just give it an empty array by default. Okay. And now the has many by relationship needs to know about the list IDs attribute. So we're going to paste that in here and that's it. It's as simple as that. This user has many lists by the list IDs attribute. So basically any IDs sitting inside this attribute here, we know that they're going to be the IDs of lists that belong to this user. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's save it, refresh the page, and they all show up. So the reason that they're all working there and they're showing up is because, if we go back to app.view, all of these IDs are being picked up and VUXORM is saying, all right, I'm going to find a list with that ID, a list with that ID, and a list with that ID, and nest it within this user, okay? To refresh the page again, it still works. So that's really cool. But what if all of this is nested? So let's just grab all of this data here, get rid of that, and let's imagine that this user has received the lists inside the request. So we're going to say lists, Paste that in there. Just make sure that it's all formatted nicely. Cool, and we're going to remove the list IDs here. And now what VUXORM will do is it'll automatically create the list IDs field and populate it with all of the IDs for the list that it owns. Okay, so let's have a look and see if that actually works. So we're gonna save that. And remember, we have no list IDs attribute sitting on this user but I'm gonna refresh the page, everything still works. And if we go behind the scenes here, say commit or, entities, uh, users, data. Let's have a look at this user here. And notice that it's automatically 
populated the list ID. So that's really cool. Once again, VuxLRM is doing all the hard work for us. So let's do a quick review to finish up this video. A user has many lists by its list IDs field, which is up here. And in this example, we're not giving it any list IDs. It's automatically creating the list IDs field based on the lists that the server supplied. However, if we were to do this, if we were to grab the entire list and insert that separately, list.insert, give it the data. So if we were to do it that way, then the user would need to know about the list that it owns. And in order to do that, we would say list IDs and supply it with all of these list IDs, 62, 56, 92. 62, 56, 92, save that, refresh the page, and it still works. So there you have it, guys, a has many by relationship. I've got to admit, I don't use this one very often. However, this is definitely something that does show up on occasion in the real world, so it's definitely worth knowing about. Make sure you check out the next video because we're going to be going through a has many through relationship. All right, see you then.